Sammy Nation, it's Sammy here and welcome back to a brand new video where today I'm going to be showing you guys if the new Pirates Repair Sword is worth the 50 million price tag to it. But before we get into this video, I want to introduce something. So as you can see, I have reset my island, everything looks really, really cool. I've got some new stuff. Right here we have the Wall of Fame. Now, the concept of this is every single islands video that I do, I will choose one person at random who likes, subscribes and comments to be on this wall. So it's as simple as that and it's going to gradually keep on growing. So we have like a lot of spots here which we can use. And uh, yeah, I hope this will actually turn out good because I want all of you guys on my island, even if you're not here physically. And um, every single day this should grow bigger and you guys will be able to see your names on here. So as you... Uh, you can see in the corner we have Benji who is my friend who helped me build this entire island and it's absolutely crazy so um, yeah big thanks to him and he is on the wall of fame um, but I will choose another person from this video so make sure you complete the steps to be on the wall of fame but anyways let's go guys so where I'm gonna go to actually test this out is I'm gonna go to Buffalo Course so if we go through the mine shaft here and take a right into this lovely little portal room we go to the Buffalo Court Islands and um, yeah, we're here now, so the buff scores are pretty easy target, you know, don't take too much hits. So, um, before we actually hit any of them, we need to check my skills. So, um, as you can see, I am, where is it, light melee level 30. Now, this is a light melee weapon, and just a quick speed test, it does um, go pretty quickly. Let's do it compared to the Obsidian Great Sword, just really quick. So um, I think it goes around the same speed, maybe just like a couple milliseconds faster. And um, yeah, so let's just see how much damage I get extra on top of the base damage. So let's really quick go to light melee. So I get plus 2.6 uh, damage, which isn't that much. So let's go ahead and check how much it does. So I just got 4833. Okay, so the base damage for me is 33 and the critical damage is 48 which is a really really good margin so if we go ahead and kill some more buff course here just get ourselves some xp now um the thing i just really don't like about swords in this game is the amount of damage you're going to be taking like so i might as well just use the ruby staff because it does a lot of damage and uh, wherever it is it, it heals me as well but let's go ahead and compare the captain's repair sword to the rage blade so this one only does 16 and 10 so um, as you can see it is a lot worse but let's go ahead and quickly heal ourselves. So the captain's repair is significantly better and um, I'm not sure if they've nerfed the rage blade. I think they have or they've just broken it somehow. They need to get on fixing that because the rage blade is actually pretty good once it gets fast. But um, yeah the captain's repair has a lot of knockback too as you can see these guys are flying away. And compared to another light melee weapon like the cactus spike let me get that out. The cactus spike really doesn't do that much knockback. So if we go ahead and test it here, yeah, as you can see, it, they barely go anywhere. So the captain's repair is really good for knockback and um, yeah, it even sends them flying up in the air, which is really cool. Now, so far, I haven't noticed any buff. Now, I've actually made a mistake. Um, the captain's repair sword gives you 20% extra luck on top of what you already have. So that's really, really good. Let's go ahead and keep killing more buff liqueurs. Now, it does um, do a really good job on these buff liqueurs. As you see, we're already down um, half its health. So that is very, very good. And I think uh, it is it is decently quick, actually. I'll give it that. Now, we're absolutely flying through the levels of light melee right now because we're killing so many buffalo calls with this captain's repair. So um, yeah, you guys can pick this up from a treasure chest that you get from Davey or you can buy it for either 20 to 60 million. And um, yeah, it has a hefty price tag to it. Yeah, if you guys can get your hands on this, that'll be really, really good for you. And, um, yeah, you can get lots and lots of damage off of this, and you'll progress really, really quick. By the way, guys, if you could join my Discord server, the link is in the description. I'd really, really appreciate that. We do giveaways and lots of just community things. So, yeah, go ahead and give that a join. But yeah guys, in the next video, I'm going to be comparing the Captain's Repair to other weapons in the game. And um, currently I'm just getting my help up, don't mind me. But yeah, if you guys would like to see what the best weapons are in the game, remember to subscribe, like and comment and turn that notification bell turn on so you never miss that video and any future ones too. But yeah guys, that was it for this video. Um, I think this sword isn't worth 50 million just yet. The price will drop, but um, the only reason it's so expensive is because it's so new and so hard to get. 
so people are putting insane price tags on this so if i were um a trader then i would probably price this weapon later on down the line at around 3 million 5 million at a push but then again it is still amazing and um i think the price tag will stay fairly high because obviously it's hard to get from chests because it's random but um yeah thank you all for watching hope this helped and peace out guys